I'm two weeks into this MMA training and I'm very, very happy. This is the smile of a happy man. This is the smile of a content man. Also, I've been doing yoga. Breathe in through your nose and let it out through your feet. So for the past two weeks, I've been training intensely hard to get myself ready to fight in around six weeks time, seven weeks time. Um, will me and 50 or so guys and girls are going to be stepping into the cage on October 22nd uh, and competing against each other, all in the name of raising money for charity, uh, Cancer Research UK. So it's the organisation is Ultra MMA, the same organisation that do the ultra white collar boxing, um, which I had the privilege of attending this week. Uh, me and Ria uh, picked up some tickets and we went to see uh, the ultra white collar boxing events and we stayed for around 13 fights because Ria had to be up early the next day for a half marathon. Um, so yeah, we stayed for, for and watched those fights and it was very, very entertaining. Very, very legit. The security is tight. It's obviously a white collar do and everybody is suited and booted. You're not allowed to wear any uh, any casual stuff. You've got to wear your best uh, to get into the event, you know. Um, but it's really, really good fun. The, from the announcers to the referees and the DJ to the, to the staff there, uh, the, the atmosphere is brilliant and all the fighters had a great, uh, you know, the great team effort about them. Uh, uh, every single boxer that took, took part represented themselves very, very well and I've got the utmost respect for every single contender at the event. I had a really, really good time. So uh, respect to all the fighters and um, also massive thanks to uh, the Ultra White Collar Boxing and the Beach Coma as well. Uh, in around seven weeks time, uh, myself and the MMA team will be stepping into the cage at the same venue uh, on the 22nd of October. Now I wanted to talk to you about how the training's been going so far. Uh, I am really enjoying it. Um, I'm obviously no novice to fitness, I'm no novice to MMA. Uh, I have done a little bit, I, I, I would say I'm, I, I am still a novice but I have got a little bit of experience and that goes for saying with a lot of the people there um, at training at the gym, you know, all of us have some idea or we've got some kind of background in um, fighting, we're not all complete novices, however there are some there and they are very, very, very dedicated to the training so far. Some of them there don't know anything and uh, they're in it for the personal development and uh, the, uh, you know, the challenge really. So uh, respect to those people that have come, come with no knowledge whatsoever. Um, we've got some great, great trainers um, involved, uh, Dave Paddinson and Sons. Uh, and, and, and his uh, associates have come from Gorilla Fight Team to give us a crash course in only 24 hours. So over the eight weeks period that, uh, that we began, only 24 hours in total to teach us as much as we possibly can, to give us the tools and the skill set uh, to be able to keep ourselves safe and to be effective in the cage. But most of the training um, is down to us. Most of the conditioning is down to us outside of the gym. The, 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 the gym and the instruction is just there to give us the ideas, to give us the principles. We have to take care of getting ourselves in shape, drilling the techniques, working on the bags, running, eating right, and keeping in shape and not, not drinking, and which is something which I'm proud of myself for doing. I quit smoking when I turned 30 earlier on this year, and I've also gave, given up the drink um, as part of this training course as well. So I'm quite proud of myself and I think my dietary, uh, I think my dietary discipline has gone up somewhat. Um, I'm getting on board the right things, you know, the right nutrients and I'm drinking my protein shakes and I'm having all the things that I should be doing. And uh, it's, uh, you know, in two weeks, I, I feel like I'm making an improvement. Uh, in fact, I know I am, so I'm happy about that. Um, so yeah, and also, me and, me and uh, Rhea have been doing a lot of yoga. Yoga is king. Yoga is awesome. And I have to say, boys and girls, it is very, very good. It helps you with a lot of things, especially when you are training hard. We're doing a program on YouTube, 30 Days of Yoga with Adrian, the 30 Day Challenge. I'll leave a link to her channel in the description. Uh, so if you guys want to try yoga uh, for your recovery, then you're more than welcome to. And I have to say, uh, we really enjoy it. It's been, Least of all because when the kids have gone to bed we can spend some time and do some yoga and bond together but because of the 
um, the recovery that you get from it and, and the, the, the extreme stretches that you can actually get out of doing yoga. So, I mean, you guys that have, have done yoga, you'll know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't tried yoga, but yoga, then I recommend it because it is the sh All I can say is that there's, you know, there's, there's no egos at the moment and it, it shows everybody's there to help each other out. Nobody wants to hurt anybody at this stage and everybody wants to make sure that we're all getting the most out of our training. That being said, I'm sure come fight night, everybody will be there to win. So, um, how do I feel about that? Um, I don't know, yeah, I, 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 I'm not thinking about winning or losing. Obviously, I want to win, um, but also at the same time, I had the, the training, I know, is one task. Like, like training is going to be, um, just as hard, if not harder, than stepping in a cage. Before I step into that cage, I have done my absolute best and I am ready. I do not want to go into that cage saying I, I, I cheated myself out of some exercises. I should have gone for that run that I, I told myself to do, right? And once we go, once we move into fight week, I want to be happy and I want to be able to say to myself, yeah, I did enough to get myself to a standard that I'm ready to do this. And that's what really this journey for me is all about. Um, one, raising the money, uh, as much money for cancer research, which is a great cause. And two, because I wanted to push myself um, out of my comfort zone and towards something that, you know, a lot of people are scared of. You know, a lot of people are scared to face their, their fears and, and, and to fight. Um, and, and I'd be a liar if I said that I wasn't, but at the end of the day, uh, no great things are achieved in your comfort circle. You've got to step beyond those those realms uh, to to get the good stuff, to get the good rewards. Um, and and uh, yeah, the, 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 I know the training is 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 hard. The the first week was hard. The second week was hard, and it's going to get harder and harder. And I'm going to keep pushing myself as far as I can go and learn some new things about myself. So thank you very much guys for watching the vlog. Um, it really means a lot. If you would like it, that would be brilliant. If you want to watch some more, uh, then press the subscribe button. Um, it really mean a lot from, if you would click the link in the description to my Just Giving page and donate as much or as little as you can for the cause cancer research. All this is an aid of raising as much money as possible. Now I'm going to leave you with uh, a training montage for your inspiration. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you very much. So much protein in your in your wraps. Strawberry, <laughs> raspberry, and uh, uh, I'd much rather surf, but I live about 3,000 miles away from decent surf.